Hey everyone, so I'm back again for yet another video. Uh, this time around it's current last gen uh, pickups. Uh, all these are actually last gen. Um, all the games are DS games, uh, but I have two other things I wanted to show you guys also. And yes, of course, I went two. I don't know why. Um, the first thing here is uh, a DVD. I think it was a bonus disc in um, some kind of collector set, or maybe it was just released on its own. But I think it was part of some collector set because it does have the ESRB rating on it. It's Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots Tactical Espionage Action, or however the hell you want to say that. It's Metal Gear Saga Volume 2. Um, it's just a DVD. It has um, a couple different videos on here. It says chapters 1 through 6 of the Metal Gear Saga. Um, I found this at a yard sale for $2, so I thought might as well just grab it. Um, the other thing before I get to the games is uh, this here. It's a Memory Stick Micro M2. It's for a PSP Go, and then it has the adapter also, so you could use it for um, as a PSP memory card. Um, I got this because the only PSP memory card I have um, is either 1 or 2 gigabytes. Either way, it's not enough anymore, and I needed to get a larger one. Um, and this, I actually got it at EB, and they only had it for $5, uh, which was a very deep discount. I think the original price on this was somewhere near... Um, like seventy dollars. It's the eight gigabyte um capacity one, and uh, yeah, I was just happy to get this because I actually kind of need this. And sorry for all the the glare off of it. Um, and then right before I get to the games, I actually also got this little uh, booklet here. It's for Dragon Quest Sentinels of the Starry Skies. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what this was from, but. It seems to be just a very large, like, ad for the Dragon Quest game, for, uh, sorry, for Dragon Quest IX. Um, yeah, just, it shows a lot of different uh, uh, artwork related to the game, and a couple of uh, uh, screenshots from the game, and stuff like that, and like, oh, you can play it on your brand new DSi Excel. Um, but yeah, I, I found this at a store for a dollar, and I'd seen this in there for a while, so I went ahead and grabbed it anyways. Uh, next, for the games that I got, I got this first game at an EB, um, for about eight dollars, and I was happy to get it complete as well. The box, because it does have this cardboard box around it, is slightly damaged. Over time, of course, it was going to get damaged, but I'm happy that it wasn't damaged significantly more than it is. Um, the game itself is Shin Megami Tensei uh, Strange Journey. It is uh, another RPG uh, in the Shin Megami uh, Tensei sort of uh, franchise. Um, yeah, it just it seems like a, a, an interesting game to add to my collection, but I do not think that I will be playing this anytime soon. I did like that it did include the music CD, and the music CD was in like brand new condition. Um, so I'm very happy to add this to my DS collection. Um, the next two games that I got, um, I got these from Walmart. Um, they were labeled as being uh, $10 each, uh, but then when I took them to the register, they came up as $7.96. So I paid about $18 with tax for the two of them. Um, and I just got them because they were, well, the one is an interesting mix of genres, and the other one, uh, just seems like a sort of, uh, interesting puzzle game. Um, so, the puzzle game itself is called, um, Kurapoto Cool Cool Stars. Um, I'm not ent entirely sure, uh, how to say the name of this game. Um, I'll show you guys on the side since the sticker covers it up, but... That's the name. Um, but yeah, it looked like an interesting puzzle game, so I went ahead and grabbed that. And then the other game is a mix of War Sim, Real Time Strategy, and um, RPG. And it is Spe uh, Spectral Force Genesis. And this was also brand new. 
Uh, they also had another game there that I was sort of interested in, but I decided against it. But I think I might be going back in the next few days and getting it, because they had tons of copies of it anyways. Uh, it was Serious Sam the Collection for the Xbox 360, um, and it was $15. That's pretty much the reason why I left it behind, because I didn't have $15 to spend uh, on that game. Now, the last game that I got, I got this also at an EB on a separate day. Um, I actually just bought this yesterday. Um, it's another game to add to uh, one of my collections. Uh, that is my Kirby collection. Um, and that it, <laughs> the game itself is Kirby Mass Attack. Um, so there's only a couple more games that I need to get uh, to complete my uh, Kirby collection. Uh, so I'm happy to add this one as well. I paid pretty much the full uh, price for it, what it usually goes for. But... It was no big deal because it was a game that I had been looking for for a while, and it's becoming to be a lot, <laughs> a lot more scarce um, at EB Games at least. Um, that's all I got. As always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And that's it. See ya.